part of our storage. We have catering items on this side. We have some of our cleaning materials here, separate from the food. This is the kitchen area. Our paper goods are off on one side. Six minutes. It'll still be a bit firm, but they're going to be cooking it and heating it up at the schools, which will soften it up to the proper texture. You don't want to overcook it here because they are going to be reheating it again. We don't cook it to the full length, the full amount, because we're going to be reheating it again. Right? Just have the penny pasta is about 10 minutes versus 12 or 13 it says on the box. Pastas, like I said, ground beef, uh, chicken, ground chicken or chicken, diced chicken will sometimes warm it up and blend in sauce or spices with it for whatever menu item we have. Flash cool it and send it out cold the next day. That's basically it. Well, again, we do the bulk production for certain menu items out of this kitchen. All the food is housed here and again, secured in this uh, part of the building. Um, I don't know in terms of anything else necessary to know that it is all monitored from one building. I guess that's the most important thing. Much closer to serving time that's what versus I was seven o'clock in the morning when we would all, you know, when we were doing all the hot items out of this facility, they were, st we would start at 6.30, 7 o'clock, <coughs> excuse me, and then the items would get shipped out in hot carts, you know, again, all temped and safe, yep. but the food is still five hours old by the time some of the shifts are eating it. So since the contract with Whitson's was signed and the responsibilities here sort of diminished in terms of cooking. Correct. Right. Right. Um, and again, it's being heated and served a lot closer time span. That's the <coughs> other thing parents might want to know. Free and reduced lunch applications are processed and handled out of here now also. And if parents, for some reason, they fill out an application, they don't get a response, or sometimes the child doesn't leave it at the school, they can contact us here or they can come here during the day. And we could process and enter their applications for them. Okay. This is all where it takes place. And how many employees, uh, there's the four administrators? Four administrators. We have uh, a woman who's generally here during the day. She also serves next door. She happens to be out today, unfortunately. Uh, there was another woman who was here. She comes here in the morning, helps with any kind of production, putting item, items together and then she'll go out to a school and fill in as well. But it's essentially the four of you that are here. Four of us that are here. And then there's another gentleman who comes in four days a week and he just helps with the orders on Monday and the orders on Thursday. We get paper goods on Thursday. Right. Um, we've got many comments on the kids love the oven roasted chicken, which is a, a terrific Tyson product. It's whole pieces of chicken. They think it's like homemade chicken. They actually had, we actually had parents call uh, last last week asking if we were going to do it again. Yeah. So that was fun, Th that the feed feedback is positive, um, that they're, they are liking some of these um, these fun things that we're trying to do that are healthy, healthier for them. But they're more, they're more uh, picky, you know. Uh, uh, is they're, more, they're just, they like what they like. Um, so introducing, you know, they say, you know, statistics show, they say you have to put something in front of a child um, like 18 times before they might like it. Who would have thought, you know, you're too young, but back when I was in grammar school, the choice was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or hot lunch. There was no salads. There was nothing for younger children. Um, so I just, uh, Woodson's really tries to bring that stuff um, to the daily menu for the younger children. 
Um, you know, this feature, the feature uh, vegetable of the month is potatoes. How easy is that for kids? Um, so that's the vegetable month. But um, March's vegetable of the month was um, butternut squash. So we introduced butternut squash a couple days on the menu for the children um, as a little bit extra. So we did like two vegetables that day to get them to try it. So again, um, we try to do that. Um, um, when you say we have we have vendors that we use, Whitson's um, uses a vendor um, that we that our company is designed to work with the school program, um, and we basically give them the. It's almost like one-stop shopping. We get everything through the one vent, most of everything through the one vendor. We have a bread vendor, so we have we have a few vendors that we get products through, um, and you know it goes based on what our what we would like to serve, and we tell the vendor, and then they make it available to us. Um, ingredients, um, Whitson's also has a farm farm program with local farms. Um, that'll be in full swing as soon as the weather breaks here. Um, we work closely with um, the uh, uh, f fork to table program, uh, another one of Whitson's concepts, um, using utilizing fresh farms in the area, and we like to, uh, we put up a big poster in the middle schools and the high schools, and you can actually see the names of the farms where the food is coming from that are local, which is nice. Um, so we, we do a farm to fork program, um, very much uh, in conjunction with local farms. So we encourage our vendor to get the products through those farms, and then they ship them to us. And kids like it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a quality product from Tyson. Is that Tyson? And uh, we, we have a couple chicken vendors, but we get Tyson products. Um, but it's a, they're quality products from Tyson. Um, and the kids love it. That's one thing. If we were to take away chicken nuggets on Monday. <laughs> so we do try to change it. And we, we introduced um, chicken rings a couple months ago, which, is, which is, was a new um, muscle product that Tyson came out with. Um, and it was, they loved it. They thought they were onion rings. So we had to you know, let them know that they were chicken rings. Um, and then we served it with barbecue sauce or ketchup, and they absolutely loved it. So we've, again, we introduce things as products become available. Um, so always, always trying to look for new fun things for them. Well, I have a nutritional background, you know, I have a degree, uh, food service degree, you know, all of us have some kind of culinary training. Um, so I, I'm pretty um, adverse as to what the USDA, and again, we go by what's required by the USDA for portions, for servings, um, from every, you know, the whole breakdown is controlled by USDA portions for the children um, in school lunches. Well, well, you know, the, the children, we're, we're an offer versus serve district here, so it, we're, we follow a traditional based program. So the children need to take three out of five lunch components. So they need to take a protein, they need to take a carbohydrate, they need to take a vegetable or fruit, and they need to take a milk. So within those limits, they can, you know, there's all various combos. I can't just say that, you know, they have to take this or that. As soon as it becomes legislation, then we follow it. We're closely, we closely monitor it, um, you know, to see what's available. Um, or what's required, I should say, right now, and and when things change, we just follow the requirements. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, you know, there's there's no trans fats in any of the foods. There's no fryers in any of the buildings. Um, everything is oven fries or oven tater tots, um, oven baked chicken. Um, you know, sure, absolutely. So the but chicken the, patty today will be oven baked. Everything is oven baked. We have con we have convection ovens only. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that I haven't asked that it's important to know about the menu? You know, uh, you know, we try to, you know, the healthy choices available every day. Um, that's one thing, you know, I know you've talked about. Um, we try to give them uh, a chef salad or a turkey salad with the weather being nice. We'll do, we'll do fresh fruit and cottage cheese. Um, so we try to offer the kids a variety of healthy choices as well as the main entree. So the children do have many choices every day.